Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. So if you're in the market for a stock combo and one with a ton of extras, this might be the trailer you're looking for. So over the years, stock combos have really gained a lot of momentum just for their versatility. You can haul horses, you can haul livestock, you can haul toys, you've got a tack room to lock everything up, place to even throw a mattress, bedroll, spend a couple nights in it. So they've, again, gotten a lot of versatility from the standpoint of just the overall use of the trailers. We don't see a lot of them traded in because one, guys don't want to get rid of them. If they do want to upgrade, they usually have a friend or can easily sell it themselves very easily because it is such a sought after trailer. But over the years, these have really developed. We've done a lot of different options on these trailers. Um, we've gone from your standard 20 and 24 footers to building 26 footers, 28 footers. You know, I mean, we can get down to 25 and a half if we had to. So there's a lot of things we can do to the trailers themselves. Now, before we jump into this one, we're gonna take a look at the drawing because I'll show you a couple things on this trailer and how it lays out. This one here is a 26 foot. So we're 26 foot on the floor. We have a five foot short wall. We do have a slant wall on this one. We have a, a separate dressing room and then a trainer tack on this one here. So a lot of extras on this trailer. It's standard seven three wide and standard seven foot tall as far as the standard models that Logan offers. Now, we're gonna walk through this. I'm gonna show you all the different upgrades, all the different options we did on this one here. First and foremost with the Logan coach, you're getting a galvanized steel frame aluminum body. So you have the strength of that steel. It's galvanized so it's not gonna rust like black steel will. You have a lifetime corrosion warranty being the first owner of this trailer. You're gonna, you know, in my opinion, lighten it up and give it that aluminum look to the trailer itself by having the aluminum sides. You have an eight year structure warranty and a two year hardware warranty. So they really stand behind the product themselves. So let's dive into all the extras on this because we took a standard and then we went from there. So very first thing underneath the gooseneck, you're gonna notice just based on the sheer size of this trailer and the options we have on it, why not put a jack on this so all you have to do is push a button and up and down it goes. Why hand crank this trailer up? So you've got your jack on here. Again, real easy to operate with an actual, um, it has a key too, so you can turn it on and off, but you can push the button up and down it goes. It's really nice too if you're traveling with, you know, kids that are a little bit younger, instead of hand cranking this as they're backing up, they can actually guide you and once they're there, they can reach up and hit that button and drop it right on the truck. You don't have to worry about that truck rocking when you go to put it in park or something along those lines. So very easy to operate. With that, you're gonna get the aluminum battery box that's gonna house a single battery in this, in this case. There is room for a second battery if you ever wanted to add that in there. We put a battery disconnect on it. So if anybody accidentally leaves a light on, a tack light on, it's not gonna drain this battery if the last thing you do is reach up here and turn this off. We like those battery disconnects for that reason. That's the last thing you should do when you park this trailer somewhere is just reach up here, turn that knob to off, kills all power to it. Speaking of lights, there's a light right underneath this gooseneck. You know, a lot of times we forget that our cargo light on our pickup in the back of the cab is actually gonna get blocked by the front of the trailer. So by having this light up underneath here, you have some light coverage in the bed when you're hooking up. You can actually pivot that if you'd like to, you know, give you some light coverage underneath this gooseneck here. Also, I want you to notice under this gooseneck is all this Vortex lining. So this is incorporated throughout the trailer. This stuff is fantastic. I am a big, big fan of it. And the reason why is because it's durability. So it's really strong, it's really stout, for example, at the SEMA show, they took a cinder block, Vortex lined it, threw it off a, a three-story building and it bounced. So that's how stout this stuff is. Underneath this gooseneck area, this is a great place for it because you know this is where trailers just get beat up by road blasts over time. You know, rocks, um, high velocity as you're driving down, dirt roads, gravel roads can bounce off of this. Um, not to say that this can't dent, but now our chances are drastically reduced because of this Vortex lining. And then they use it throughout the trailer. And I'll talk about it when we get to the stall area and some benefits there as well. Now, this is where this trailer really kind of sets itself apart from a lot of the others out there. This trainer tack, this has become such a popular option. We do a lot of these 26 footers and different tack options. We'll do a straight wall 
front tack room with dual uh, tack doors and dual swing outs. We'll do a slant wall version of that. Um, this one here is, is again, extremely popular because look at all that tack you have. I mean, again, it's a five foot short wall. So we're really not changing our short wall length in the slant wall version with dual doors. We're just doing a separate wall here. So all the tack is nice and sealed up. You see the two doors open. You know, those are the exact same, so they're mirrored. So you have a brush tray on there. You have bridle hooks up high, you have carpet. You could go in and add a door organizer. You could add more hooks, anything like that. But when you get into this actual stall, or excuse me, tack area right here, you're gonna notice we got a lot of stuff going on. So first you have two saddle rack tiers. So four on each one of those. Blanket pole, two of those, four on each of those. The other thing I want you to notice is they've got them on a rail at the back there. So if we wanted to adjust these, slide them one way or the other, change the, the configuration, maybe you wanna go with saddle racks, blanket poles, saddle rack, blanket poles, you can swap all these around. The other thing too is if you wanted to add another tier of saddle racks, you know, we could get that ordered for you and set that in. It's very easy to move those in and out of this trailer itself, but if you wanted to space them, close them up tighter together, you could. Carpet on all the walls, just kind of like on the doors. You got carpet on the floor, but I like the carpet on the, on the walls themselves behind those bridle hooks, because that way as your tack is in, as you're in transit and it's moving, you know, it's not rubbing against the wall. We're not having that metal to metal contact. It's gonna protect what you have hanging there a lot better from that standpoint. A lot of floor space as well in this. So there's items you could put down low. And one of the last things is tucked behind the corner because of that angle of that wall, we put a corner water tank in there. So you've got the capability to carry 35 gallons of fresh water. It's just gravity feed. So no pump needed, anything like that. Just put you a hose at the bottom, in my opinion, or the ball valve on the outside, fill your buckets up out here. You're not having to lug them in and out, but that's really nice to be able to carry that water on board with you, you know, as you are traveling or at different events, different items like that um, from the standpoint of, again, having that fresh water available. One of the other things we opted to do on this one is put these fold up steps. And the reason why is if you think about it, trying to get, you know, get to your saddles, get to your tack. If you look where I'm standing to this running board, because it's seven, three wide, the standard width, you're going to have this running board, the entire length of the trailer. But that's a big step from where I'm at. So by having those fold up steps, you know, it makes a big difference. Just transitioning from in and out of that actual tack room itself. Um, from that standpoint, believe me, as you're lugging saddles, it makes a big difference there. So I'm going to go ahead and shut these doors because I want to show you the standard color on a Logan is white sheeting. This one here, we opted to do more of a charcoal color. Uh, it's become a very popular color option over the last couple of years. Really works nicely with what a, lo a lot of the truck companies are doing for different color schemes there. Um, there's no additional charge when you go from the standard white into a charcoal, a silver, a champagne, a slate, anything like that. The only upcharge you'll have is if you want to go with black sheeting or um, if you want to jump into a custom color, maybe like a polished stainless sheeting, something like that. But really cool tack setup. I mean, massive, massive tack room there. The ability with dual doors, as you saw, you can operate off of just one side if you'd like. The left hand door opens, the, the right hand door is closed, um, but then you can open it up as well. All right, now as we start working back, you're gonna notice we have two air gaps with plexiglass. We upgraded to have the plexiglass as, again, a very nice trailer. Why not have the ability to have that plexiglass there? Um, at the very back, there's a L-shaped piece of aluminum with a couple screws you take off. You can remove that plexiglass if you'd like and then reinsert it if you want. Put that L-bracket back on when you're, whenever you're removing that just because you don't wanna lose that piece of it. You've got an eight inch awning light, kind of right above those wheel wells there. Five tie rings on this side. You can go in and add additional tie rings if you want. Every upright post, you can go in and put those there. But again, there's that aluminum sheeting, so it gives it that, again, that aluminum look and aluminum feel finish to the trailer, really making it a sharp looking trailer. We upgraded the, the wheels and tires. So silver aluminum, uh, 
we went with the black with the silver accent in this instance here. So that was an upgrade. And then we went from a 10 ply tire to a 14 plier, just based on the size of this trailer. Let's put a little bit heavier duty tire underneath here. You have two 7,000 pound rubber torsion axles, electric brakes. Uh, Logan has started using Lion's Head for their wheels and tires, their vendor. That's, we're very familiar with them um, because that's what Cimarron, our other manufacturer we carry, has been using over the last few years. What's really nice about them is now these are balanced and nitrogen filled tires. So our nitrogen filled tires aren't going to fluctuate PSI levels as drastically as air. And then the balance portion of it as well. On top of that, you get a one year no questions asked warranty on those wheels and tires. If you have a blowout, it I mean, from road damage, you have, you catch a nail that can't be patched, something along those lines, they'll send you a new tire within the first year of you owning this trailer. No questions asked. Now the back, we changed up configuration on this one a little bit. I mean, you can do a lot of different things. This one here, we opted for dual 50-50 rear gates. So you can do this type of an option. You can do a solid gate all the way across. You can do a gate with a slider. Again, a lot of different configurations that we do on these trailers. The other thing is the add-ons. We haven't even touched about that. This is a very well-equipped trailer, but maybe you want a rear ramp on this trailer. That could be done. Might be a little bit more lead time, just from the standpoint of getting a color match ramp built and throwing on a trailer and getting it here, but we could do that. Maybe you want a hay rack added to that. Same thing, we could get that added through our parts and service department here. So let's get into the stall area. Because again, we can do a lot of different things. This one here, as you can see, we've got a gate stored over here to driver's side. It matches the slant of the partition wall. It can easily handle, you know, two good sized saddle horses in this first compartment. Um, you know, we're 21 foot on this long wall. You got a lot of stall space. You have the extra width in here. You'll notice you have a little bit of wheel well. That's because it's 7.3 wide. That is. Logan's standard width. So we can go from 7'3", and then we can jump up to the eight foot and eight and a half foot. And again, as you notice, all that vortex lining, so they've incorporated in the stall area as well. Fantastic stuff. I think, again, very, very durable, but the cleanup on it is fantastic as well. It's very easy. In my opinion, you nose this trailer up, you come through the escape door with your power washer, muck out your solids first, but very easy to clean this trailer out. And again, the strength of this Vortex lining that they've used throughout it. I think it also deadens a lot of the noise in these trailers. I don't think it has an echo as much uh, just based on this Vortex lining. So again, really strong, really durable stuff there. So we've got our center gate here. It's on a slam latch. So if we can incorporate slam latches, we will. From a safety standpoint, they're really important just to be able to, if you need to push some cattle up in this first stall and get that shut really quick, you've got the capability to do it. Again, it's on a slant to match that partition wall. Usually on our straight loads, as far as a, a straight wall, we'll go ahead and match the same thing with those gates. You know, we'll go ahead and put a straight on it. Now, because of the plexiglass, it's really hard to throw a lead rope around these upright posts. You can't. So what they've gone in and done is given us a tie rail, the full length between the two air gaps on both sides of this stall area. So again, that's really handy to be able to walk up here, tie something to it. If you need to ratchet strap something down, if you're hauling something else in here, you've got that capability as well. A couple LED lights in here as well. They're on an individual switch. So the exterior and interior are on different switches. So you can kind of manipulate where you want that actual light coverage, but they're LED lights, so not a big power draw. Put out a good amount of light in here. You do have a little bit of an arch to this roof, so a little bit of a bow to it. Why that is important is because uh, some competitors will have a flat sheeted roof. Well, here in Colorado, I know in a lot of other states, deal with snow. What we want is we want that moisture to get off the roofs of these trailers. Because what will happen is, and I've noticed this on a lot of those competitors that come in, those trailers might be just a couple years old, and we're having to redo their, their roof seal. Look, it's maintenance. It's just like bearings. It's just like brakes. You're going to have to reseal these roofs eventually. But the longevity of this by allowing and getting that moisture off the roof makes a big difference because of that bow. 
The last thing we'll talk about is this floor. I always like to end on that note, and there's a reason why. This floor is fantastic. As you see, we don't have rubber mats in here, so when it comes to clean out, very simple. We don't have to wrestle mats. That is not a fun job when it comes to cleaning these out. But this is their whiz-proof flooring with SureGrip flooring on top. So we have these aluminum planks that run the length of this trailer that are covered in Vortex lining. So again, to protect from that, um, the, the corrosion aspect and the acidity of urine itself. But then you've got this porous floor on top. So this rubber floor, but again, it's porous. So it'll allow liquid, urine, other things like that. But once it hits this floor, it kind of spreads out and just works its way down and out the trailer it goes. So from a cleanup standpoint, and again, just sheer, just keeping this area a lot cleaner. I've noticed that on a lot of trailers. You'll peek in them and they just seem to be a lot cleaner because again, you get rid of that, you know, that urine in there, especially when you're hauling, you know, maybe it's pears, maybe it's bulls, maybe a load of steers, something like that. You know, it gets that liquid out of this area. In fact, I'll show you, because on this back gate here, this is what I'm actually standing on. So these are those aluminum planks that I was talking about. They vortex line them. So again, it protects it from that actual urine itself. But you'll notice that, you know, I, I like to describe it as almost like a two by four, but it's, it's got it cut on an angle. And why that's important is it allows, obviously, gravity to take that liquid out of the trailer, but it doesn't allow that any road liquid or anything like that you know, coming back into the trailer itself. So I like that they put an angle on there, but man, this stuff on top, this sure grip flooring, it's got a lot of grip to it. Um, even when it gets wet, I mean, you can get in here and you can notice there's still a ton of grip to this trailer. Uh, I know Logan's been doing some testing on, on the actual cushioning of the ride with that. So hopefully we'll see some of that here soon too. It does make a difference. I mean, I, I feel it when you get into the trailer itself, that you notice it versus a rubber mat, it does have maybe a, a touch more give to it. It's really durable stuff. We've got customers that have been dragging these trailers a long time. Um, you know, customers have even said, hey, I've got a horse that really likes to paw. And, you know, the feedback from them is, yeah, I can't, he can't get it broke loose. Not to say it can't, but they do have repair kits, so it'll, it'll adhere to itself if you do get it in one of those type of situations. But there's a good look at those dual, 50-50 gates. I want you to notice too, this is one thing that we put an emphasis on, is we like to enclose the back, whether it's plexiglass or do a solid like this. And the reason why is if you live down a dirt road, travel down a lot of dirt roads, you'll understand that dust likes to accumulate at the back of your vehicle. Whether it's on your truck, the tailgate, the bumper, back of your SUV, back of your car, whatever it is, you can usually walk to the back of them and literally be able to do that and see just fingerprints. Um, in fact, we had a gentleman come pick up a trailer the other night. His marker lights wouldn't work on a brand new trailer. Fuse was good, we had power to the plug, but we didn't have good connection because of how much dirt and dust was at the back of that plug. So after we cleaned that, plugged it in a couple times, got good connection, he was good to go. But that was one of the very first things I said, you live down a dirt road, don't you? And he goes, yeah, I do. I mean, you could just tell. Well, what happens at the back of those vehicles is that dust swirls and it actually tries to suck back into the trailer. So think about that from a respiratory standpoint of horses, cattle, whatever it is in there. We don't want them breathing that, breathing that dust. So let's try to eliminate as much of that as possible. So that's why we like to go in and clo enclose those back ends of those trailers. There's those light switches right there. So again, we can turn on the exterior lights, turn on the interior lights. Here's a good look at driver's side. You know, again, five tie rings on the outside here. Again, you can go in and add more. We have an escape door going into that very first stall if you need to for some reason. Hop in there, you've got the capability to do that. And then we have a front dressing room. This is the last piece to it because again, we had that sealed off tack room on the other side. Here we have a dressing room, which is fantastic because now we can keep the tack away from that. You don't have to smell saddles, blankets, anything like that. This will stay a lot cleaner because of that. You also have the fold up step going into it. So again, making the transition nice and easy. Let you guys look ahead up at the gooseneck. You've got 
Again, a couple windows up there. You could throw a mattress, you could throw a bedroll, some sleeping bags, you can see out, create a cross breeze. You've got an LED light up in the nose there. There's another one above the door. Directly above me is a clothes rod, so you can just go ahead and hang some clothes, kind of keeping them somewhat organized and not just thrown on the deck there. And then you've got this boot box as well. So again, good organization, throw some smaller items in there, but also works as a great step to jump actually up into that gooseneck area itself there. You've kind of got a blank canvas back here. Some customers will go in and add more hooks. Um, we've seen shelves. Some people have gone in and done their own little cabinetry. I mean, you can do some of those type of items. Now with this being a standard model that Logan has, you're gonna get this uh, tire changing ramp as well. That is That comes with every standard model. So your Stockmans, your Stockman combos, and your Riots on the horse side of it, you're gonna get that, which those are really handy if you get into a situation where you need to change a tire, not having to find a jack. Again, we like the look of this, just from the sheer standpoint of the aluminum, you know, the darker charcoal color, those black rims with that silver accent, and then the plexiglass. It is a sharp looking trailer for sure. So again, these 26 footers are so cool. We've got more here, we've got more coming, uh, a lot of different configurations. If you wanted to take this and tweak it a little bit, you know, maybe we can do some stuff after the fact, or if we need to build you something, we can do that as well. And I'm gonna give you the stock number on this one. Again, it's the 2023 Logan Coach Stockman Combo. Stock number is 5N221-647. We do take trade-ins. Whether you're looking to upgrade, downsize maybe, we could do that for sure. Uh, Financing is available, and we can also look at delivery options directly to your door. So give us a call. Anyone on our sales team can help you out. Our number is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in. Have a good day.